Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about weddings at Oswego Hills Winery, some of the things that you should expect at every wedding, and then what is also unique about this wedding venue. So when your wedding guests first get to the wedding venue, they're gonna wanna go inside, they're gonna wanna grab something to drink, this is where the AC is. They're gonna to wanna to set their gifts down. Depending on where dinner is gonna be, they're gonna to wanna to set their some of their coats down. They wanna get acclimated inside before they head out to the ceremony site. This is also where we're gonna have our big room set up. So our main dance party uh, DJ setup is gonna be located up on the stage and we can play soft background music as your guests are coming in. Once everybody has got there and you guys are ready to start your ceremony, we'll get on the microphone. We'll send all the wedding guests outside. We'll wait till everybody has find their seat. So that way they're not sitting out in the sun waiting for the ceremony to start. Sometimes ceremonies are delayed anywhere between 10 to 35 minutes. So instead of having them sit in that hot sun, they can sit inside where it's nice and cool. And then once everybody's ready to go, then we'll send them out to the ceremony site. Then once the ceremony is ready, we can send everybody out to the ceremony site um, because there isn't shade for the ceremony. And so we don't have grandma and grandpa out there roasting in the sun for the ceremony. People here believe in you. They believe in this marriage. I believe in you, believe in this marriage. Continue to receive that love and pursue the love that you guys are already about. You're already people of love. So at the ceremony site, we'll be set up in the back corner. We'll be playing soft background music till you guys are ready to start the ceremony. Right before the ceremony starts, we'll come mic up the officiant and the groom will uh, come find you inside as you guys are lined up. I'll make sure that everybody knows exactly what's going on. I'll talk to the officiant, make sure we have the proper cues, when to send everybody, how we're gonna play the music so everybody understands how the ceremony is gonna be executed without any silent awkward moments. I promise to continue to strive to be the best version of myself, to remind you of your identity, to build our story together. Now, when it comes to the ceremony, your actual package time is gonna start 30 minutes before your ceremony is gonna start. We have two lapel mics or two handheld mics for you guys to use for the ceremony. And this is also gonna be dependent on how windy it is. Uh, it's a pretty large open area up there. And so sometimes it can get pretty windy. And that's when we're gonna switch out to a handheld microphone. It's just gonna sound a lot better. Ideally, we'd like to use lapel, but it's really gonna be dependent on the weather. If you guys are having a guitarist or a vitamin string quartet, we can also mic them up too. So it just really depends on what you guys have planned for your ceremony. It burns, we all lie. Won't you come down? Won't you come down? So after the ceremony is completed, everybody is gonna head kinda indoor outdoors for a cocktail hour. So we'll be playing background music inside for the cocktail hour. People kinda, you know, hang out kind of inside and then halfway out on the patio. Then from there, we're gonna go into dinner. Now dinner can be on the inside, usually if it's way too hot outside or if we have bad weather, then we're gonna have dinner indoors. But most of the time it's gonna take place out in the yard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have everybody find their seats. Then we are going to do the grand entrance, which we usually bring you out from the inside right on the, the patio. And then once the grand entrance is done, we're gonna go into dinner. We'll have another setup for this. This will either be a two to three speaker setup, depending on how many people we're gonna have for the lawn area, because we want the even distribution of sound for this area. Most of the times we're gonna do speeches out here, and we also can do the cutting of the cake or the first dance up on the platform, but a lot of times we'll just do speeches out here. We'll move everybody inside for the dance party. Each one of these is a glimpse of who Lars would become. A foodie with great style, loving heart, adventurous, hardworking, competitive risk taker, and fun loving.
So Oswego Hills is a very beautiful winery on the inside. Now when it comes to the dance party, we're gonna bring all the overhead lights down for the dance party. And then the only light that really stays on is over by the bar so they can see. And we always do some form of up lights and spotlights on the dance floor. And this is just gonna make the room pop. It looks amazing in there. We can take the up lights and we can make them whatever color that you guys want. And this is really gonna help when it comes to dancing. It's really gonna help make your photos and your video look good. And they also have like a little stage there. And we need to make sure that our dance floor area is properly lit so it looks good for your photos and video, but we also don't want anybody to trip. It can be a tripping hazard if we don't have proper lighting in that room. Think out of all the five years that I've been there, I don't think I'm yet to do a wedding there that didn't have some form of up lights or spotlights to help light the room. Cold Spark machines are really cool. They can be used outdoors or indoors. So we've done them for the first dance. We've also done them for the grand entrance and then also the sparkler send off. At Oswego Hills, they actually don't let any sparklers. So we use our Cold Spark machines and they are an amazing tool to have when it comes to the grand exit. And it's a really good way to wow your guests. It's something that they probably haven't seen at weddings before. So if they've been to a lot of weddings and you're looking to add something that's unique that they haven't seen before, um, I would consider some of the Cold Spark machines. The First Dance on Clouds is a really amazing effect as well. Now, usually when we're transitioning everybody inside for the dance party, depending on the time of the year, this will be a good time to go do uh, sunset photos as it's the perfect lighting at usually this time, depending on your guys' timeline. We're gonna get everybody inside and then we can do the cutting of the cake. We can do the first dance and get the dance party started.